concerning God's judgment, there is nothing we can do about Namdekano's predicament. British government. After so many years, the British government did everything possible to get Namdekano to Renard Biafra and he refused. Sending their envoy to him to get him to the Nas Biafra and he refused. To get him to drop Biafra station, he refused. British government has finally played the last kick. And that last kick was what you saw in the so called God of Nigeria. The same kick British government played it in presidential election tribunal both in a court and spring court every acting you are seeing that the spring court that p court has been acting of recent is the making of british government where Pede and the, the coming of tinibu and then i'm the colonel rejection Or should I say, and Nam the Colonel's continued detention, stand by Supreme Court, that he should continue to remain in custody, that his case must go back. The squashing of the P Court judgment, these are all making of British government in collaboration with Tinibu, and that thing you call Buhari who is somewhere now in Daura. Everything was planned. They believe that when he is captured, or he will easily d'accord. When he is tortured. But he's got into two years and counting. Two years and half a year. Two years and a half. Upon that, Namde Kano has refused to back down. So British has played their last game. What they are going to do now is the back of the last game they played. We are going to see victory in no time. In close time that you may think, you may not believe, but that is the truth. So far Nam the Kano continue to be strong though I know that he will British government says that they cannot offer any assistance to Namde Kano because they and not obliged or whatever but what they are saying in essence is that Namde Kano has rejected their offer several times prefer the right of his people prefer the right of his Soko people prefer the right of Rubo people prefer the right of Ijo people prefer the right of Yukure people prefer the right of Ubi people, prefer the right of Abba people, prefer the right of Umaha people, prefer the right of Anambra people, prefer the right of Enugu people, prefer the right of Imo people, prefer the right of Ibu people, prefer the right of Delta people, prefer the right of Ibos in Koji. And for this reason, British government has decided to continue to back up the shred of the so-called Supreme Court. We all know that 
the way he was renditioned back to Nigeria illegally, the Nigerian government has no right to judge him in their court. The first thing that. But, as usual, just like British, you Supreme Court to bring tribute into office, they are doing the same thing again. To you Supreme Court. First of all, to squash a judgment made by a P court. And to use it uh, to go to it with sugar, they decided to say that uh, no, that Nam the Kano was illegally adopted from Kenya. I know that Nam the Kano was shut from Nigeria. I know that the Nigerian government was rascal to go fight, to go to Nam the Kano's house to kill him with their DSS and soldier. But after that, the same Supreme Court squashed the case. This is to show you that this riot you are seeing today is the making of British government, the making of King Charles. He saw how France were, was panicking when the Niger told them to leave, when Faso told them to leave, and Niger told them to leave. Because they know they are going to miss a lot. All right, they sell two hundred dollar and give them just one dollar. Now, the Niger are selling it more than even the two hundred dollar, and the money is coming to them straight away. These are the same thing British government doesn't want to miss, and this is why they see Nam the Kana threat. But believe me, all the atrocities they have committed. All the evil that King Charles has committed, including the one that the mother committed. Time shall tell. He is going to know that there is power and there is power. I think I've come to the end of this news.